first, Paulie. Oh, okay, here we go. Number nine. Most of uh, Chicago probably had a terrible night's sleep. That's because we were also restless, wondering what is happening with the two bags of barbecued rib. Uh, flavored potato chips right. just hanging precariously inside the WGN <laughs> oh, yeah. vending machine. We showed this to you yesterday in the I Want Your Tech yes. segment. It's one of those moments it could go either way. Someone's either going to get two or three bags of chips for the price of one, or someone's going to get screwed out of a dollar. And we have an update. Take a look. Good luck, Ray. Right, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at it. Wow. Yeah. Plastic. There were emails so going on. Yeah. People are doing side bets. I think he gets it. Drum roll. Make another selection. Make another selection. What? They forced you. That's Aaron Jr. Ray. And he doesn't even want the chips. He just wanted in on the resolution so we can all get back to our lives. Uh, but as you can see, he wants to give the money to the machine, but this chip robot won't allow it. So it's inferior, but God forbid someone gets a free bag of chips around here. Uh, the thing will take your money, but then it shuts down and says uh, that you have to try, some, try a different selection. So I'm urging all my fellow employees Get in there and let's break some stuff. <laughs> yeah. Let's turn these vending machines over. We're going to trash that area until yeah. this problem is corrected. So those, You're first. Those bags are still stuck. Still there? stuck in limbo. There must be some sensor or something. It's like something's stuck, not so right we'll, because we'll take... like that's an opportunity for someone to make like four dollars yeah. <laughs> profit right. on this one thing. So yeah. All again, right. if you can get Stinks. past security, yeah, there God we go. Speed. All right, number eight, uh, so you've heard this expression before, the whole kit and caboodle. Oh, yeah. So uh, the phrase first appeared here in the U.S. in the middle 1800s. Where the heck did that name come from? Kit dates back to Old English, meaning a basket. And boodle in the 1830s meant a crowd of people. So you put them together when referring to a whole group of things or people. So now, you know, just the kit and caboodle, like everything. The whole the kit whole and caboodle, basket, the whole basket, and, the whole and all the people, people. the whole uh, celebration, the whole, the whole kit and caboodle. Keeping it current again. Yeah. Yeah. All right, number seven, you can get paid to stay in paradise for a month. This stunning hotel in Aruba would be your home. Your title, social media resident yeah. at the Boardwalk Hotel in Aruba. It's part of the hotel's One Happy Work Nation program. Workation. Workation. Work I thought it was a typo. Yeah. Okay, no, you could be in charge. Be. You could be in charge of all social media posts Whoa. and photos coming and promoting the hotel. If you're chosen, you get free airfare to Aruba, wow. free accommodations, a rental car, and an allowance. All you need to do is fill out a short survey online and tell them about yourself. Maybe you'll get picked. You are a, an influencer, Paul, I am, yeah. and I feel like you always want to get away. Yeah, so this I is mean, right in my demo. I'm sure they're looking for like a middle-aged. <laughs> you know, 57 year old bald guy to do like a bunch of social yeah. media yes. stuff. Just Maybe I can take my mom. The... She's doing all that right. stuff and boom and yeah. boom, all that stuff. Yeah, so. making all the reels, the yeah. music. That would be fun. Ma, I'll call you later. All right, uh, number six. If you have an iPhone, there's a feature on, or a feature that you need to turn on before you die, or maybe just in case you die. It's called the Legacy Contact, and it's about to make, it's about making sure that your photos, your videos, and all that other stuff gets passed on to the person that you want. So, I'll take a second here. You're gonna go to settings, then you're gonna go to passwords and security, and that's where you'll find Legacy Contact. You can add up to five of these people, and uh, they get to decide who, who gets access to your Apple account and the information just in case you die. Otherwise, your loved ones will need your passwords and logins <laughs> and all that other well, stuff. How do they... uh, so they maybe uh, send an email to that person oh. or whatever it is. Right. I, true story, I sent my brother a note. I was like, I don't know why I was feeling morbid or something, yeah. or maybe I was yeah, you feeling like know. my health. And I sent him a note and I said, you know, here's my passwords to all my stuff. Yeah. I don't know why my brother and not my wife. Yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah. But, mm, but yeah. He's trustworthy. And yeah. He's a trustworthy guy, but he yeah. has my my Google photos Good. and I have some handwritten journals from. So yeah. do you keep sending him updates every time you change your yeah, password? I sure. and I, I mean, haven't yeah. yet, but I, I did do it's that recently. Yeah. So if, you, if Anthony's watching, he's the. Yeah, don't screw it up. Executor yeah. of my estate. 
day. Good. All right, number four, it's almost short season. I don't have to tell you that. So men, you need to think about what looks work for you. It's all about the length That's of right. the short. That's right. A nice short for a man falls just above the knee, they say. But if it's tapered and if it's denim, don't make it too long, otherwise you look like jorts. Yeah. Uh, but there are some five inch options up there if you want to show off those toned legs. Yeah. So if you want them a little shorter, if you're in good shape. You can just roll them up also. Get oh, them yeah, way that's up a good high, look. just below the butt cheek. Yeah. Clean there, them. Yeah. <laughs> there are some good <laughs> options, we're told, from Land's End and Dockers for a preppier style. And of course, who doesn't like those Dickies 11 inch Tough Max Carpenter shorts? Oh, you can't beat those. Yeah. Just remember, you wear the shorts, the shorts don't wear That's you. Right. So you do what you have to do. Yeah, boo. <laughs> All right, number five, if you can't shut up, it is not your fault. It's in your genes. According to a new study, there is a <laughs> hormone that helps mothers bond with babies and romantic partners bond with each other. It is sometimes called the cuddle or love hormone. Huh. Look at the video they pull of me talking. Researchers have found that modifying the gene for the hormone can make people more sociable. Wow. Uh, maybe it's possible for doctors to one day alter the protein level of medication that can help people who have social abnormalities and will not shut up to maybe shut up a little bit. Huh. I missed the B-roll I was reading. What, what they have? I was nothing. Just Someone who talked a lot on the show. I don't know who it was. Anyway. The video was a little bit out of focus. <laughs> you couldn't tell who it was? No, no they had the audio too. All right, number three. Who doesn't love Harry Styles? Well, now you can buy the exact same furniture featured on his new album cover for Harry's House. Uh, the editors at House Beautiful took the cover and found all the pieces, or at least similar pieces, online from the retro couch to the yellow lamp. There are lots of options on places like Etsy and Wayfair. So how much do you love Harry Styles? You better yeah. really look into it. Etsy. Mm. That's the land of love, as far as I'm concerned. I could spend mm -hmm. days. Yeah, you can. On that. All the doilies and trinkets. <laughs> it's a man's place right there. Yeah, that it is. Place is. Yeah. Well, you're a knitter from way back, you Big know. Time. So you Ever since I joined Chachis. Larry's uh, Stitch and Bitch Club, man, yeah. I could two o'clock cross three <laughs> under loop around two. Do that for days yeah. up there. Yeah. Until his wife asked me to stop coming yeah, to the house. That's the problem. All right, number two. Here's an incredible place. Falls Pyramid. Huh. It's in the Pacific Ocean. It's all that's left of a massive volcano. It was wow. discovered in 1788, and up until 2001, scientists thought it was devoid of life. That's when they discovered land lobsters Whoa. living under a single bush. What? The, See him. the bugs are six inches long and they're wingless. Uh, whoa, wow. They're otherwise known as the walking sausages of Bull's Pyramid. Where did you know it that man? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, and that was also my first album, uh, yeah. uh, solo the album. Walking yeah, so, right. <laughs> Scientists <laughs> took the bugs and they're now being bred in captivity. The oh, hope good. is to reunite the walking sausages with Bull's Pyramid again soon. Huh? Uh, balls and sausages. <laughs> All right, number one huh. on this day. The nickname in, still holds up. Yeah, yeah. it does. Yeah. It does. Yeah. yeah, good for you. Uh, number yeah. one on this day in 1993. What do you think the number one song on Billboard charts was? All right, let's just guess. 93. Here. 93. Come a chameleon. Uh, I'd say no, Boys to Men, maybe. One of the Boys to Men uh, songs. No? Do You Think I'm Sexy by Rod Stewart. No, it was this. It was this. Well, I might be All right, All right it was it? a Canadian reggae rapper. In That wasn't my way. I was, no, I was really era. kicking it in the 90s. Are you kidding? That was a good era for me. Yeah. The, I, artist is, the artist it, is it, Snow? No. It's, the song is called Informer. It's a Canadian guy who dropped out of school in ninth grade. He did some time in jail when he was 18. Ooh, was he a... got his style because there were lots of Jamaicans in his housing project, he said. He wrote this song when he was locked up. And as recently as 2019, he was making music with oh, Danny cool. Yankee. So he's still going on doing, doing tracks. Huh. He's got a catchy little... Yeah. Yeah. There he's in jail. Daddy Yankee, of course, went on to do that whole Yankee candle company. <laughs> <laughs> it's so special. Like, those are the best, those Yankee candles.
Get him everywhere. You know, that's another thing. He's got the collection of the Hummels and the precious moments. Yeah. You can't go two feet in his place without yeah. a Yankee candle. Yeah. It's well, just you everywhere. you got to light up the Hummels yeah. in the right way. They <laughs> that look is mood lighting. In mood lighting, yeah, that's right. Wow. You can create your own scents, combine yeah, this, yeah. you know, light put more than one at the same time. Over here. Let it combine them. And you just put the lid right back on the jar. Yeah. It just contains it when you go to bed. It's great. Yeah. I anyway. still have that Yankee candle. Oh, that's all right. Yeah. Like yeah. What are you doing? There's all fundraisers right. for them and yeah. everything. Damn, They're come bringing on. me life, dude. Yeah, bringing me life. All right, that was the night at nine. Pumpkin.